Okay, hi students. Today we are going to work on inferences. So this week, the whole week, we're going to be learning about inferences. First of all, we will be working on standard R001, quote accurately from a text when explaining what the text says explicitly and when drawing inferences from the text. So like I said, we're going to be working on inferences. Our essential questions. What is an inference? How do I draw an inference from the text? What is evidence? How do I use evidence from the text to support my inference? What is meant by explicitly stated? How do I quote evidence explicitly stated from the text? What is meant by implied? How do I state information that is implied by the author? So, first of all, look at this picture. What do you guys see in this picture? What's going on in this picture? So first thing you see is two guys with a map. They're in a forest and they're both pointing in two different directions, right? So in the obvious case, this picture tells us that just by looking at the clues, the map, the two people pointing different directions, that the obvious thing is that these two are probably lost, right? Okay, so when you are making an inference, you have to know these. Here is one thing. Um, these are your notes for inference. So these notes can help you with knowing what an inference is. So what is making inferences? Using what you already know and evidence from the text to figure out what the author is saying. It is mostly talking about this. There's a lot of things you guys already know. So you just use the clues from the text to help you make an inference. An inference is sometimes stated, sometimes it's not. So basically you're just taking a guess at what is going on by using the clues and what you know already. So if you need to go ahead and pause the video here to copy these notes. These notes can be used in a later time if you need to. At the conclusion of this lesson, you will write a short summary of what inferences are and how you can find them. That summary will have to go down here where it says write down what you have learned about inferences. So second thing, this is the anchor chart for inferences. It, it is a good idea to copy this too. Inferences is figuring out what something that wasn't completely figuring out something that wasn't completely explained in the story, using clues to make a good guess. So you're just guessing at what's going on. Always cite the text evidence when writing about an inference by using the following. So when you make an inference and you wanna tell how that inference is true. You can use sentences like, my guess is, or this could mean, I assume that, maybe, it could be that, I infer that, perhaps, or I conclude that. So basically you're just telling what you're guessing from what you already know and what you read in the text. 
So here's an example. Look at the picture. What is going on in, in the picture? The girl sleeping, right? Okay, now here's the story for this picture. The girl groined and sleepily, sleepily reached over to turn off the alarm clock. She snuggled back under the warm covers and closed her eyes. Okay, so if we were to guess, um, it must be cold because it says she snuggled back under the warm covers and closed her eyes. So it must be cold. So here's your first question. What two words tell us how the girl feels? What two words in here tells us how the girl feels? We all know that the girl crying and sleepily reached over, turned off of her alarm clock, and then got back under her covers and closed her eyes to go back to sleep. So how does this girl feel? Yes, you are right. She probably does not want to get out of bed. But we've got to look for two words that show us that she doesn't want to get out of bed. So one would be groin. The other one is sleepily. So here's the next question. What time of the day is it? Do you know what time of the day it is? Correct. Maybe it's in the early morning, but how do you know? How do you know it's early in the morning? Because there was something she did before she got back under the warm covers and closed her eyes. What was it? Exactly. Reached over to turn off the alarm clock. So the word alarm clock tells us that she doesn't want to get out of bed early in the morning when the alarm clock went off. So basically, inference is using clues from the text plus what you already know to make an inference, to take an educated guess at what is going on. So I hope to see you on Monday because we will be doing um, an example in class online. If you want to come in, you can come in on Monday and then we will go over this PowerPoint. Then on Tuesday, we will do more examples and your worksheet will be released on Wednesday. So please watch this video and make sure you have your notes ready on Tuesday to help you make the inferences you need to make. Until then, I will see you guys. And I hope you guys have a nice rest of your day. Bye.